Hi, this is uh, Tutor Nick P, and this is Word Origins 117. The word origin today is cappuccino. All right, we all know the Italian coffee. You go to the uh, any sort of like Starbucks or any coffee shop, they always have cappuccino these days. Now, remember, of course, cappuccino is an Italian word, so it's pronounced in an Italian way. So that's why we say cappuccino instead of cappuccino. Uh, there is a rule in Italian, if you have a C that's followed by an I or an E, it's pronounced like a CH in English. So that's why we say cappuccino instead of cappuccino. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, let's continue. Uh, a cappuccino uh, is a strong Italian coffee. Yeah, we're specifically talking about espresso here. Uh, made with hot milk and often with a frothy topping, you know, like the bubbles, the foam, uh, topping with cinnamon or chocolate on top. Yeah, so most of you uh, out there should know that already. Uh, let's continue. Uh, the origin of cappuccino is related to cappuccine friars, which are actually monks. So, strange, the origin of cappuccino comes directly from monks. Um, some of these monks were known for wearing brown robes with pointed hoods. Yes, yeah, sometimes if you see this in some movies, if you see, you know, in former times you see monks, even today, they still wear these similar sort of robes. There's brown robes and they have a little hood that pulls up and it's, it's pointed on top. Uh, the names of these hoods in Italian was cappuccios. Okay. Uh, it was cappuccios. Uh, cappuccino, therefore, meant a small cap. Yeah, this is something else in Italian. Anytime you have words in Italian that end in like ino, uh, it's the diminutive. It means small. So it really meant like a small cap that they pulled up. So this is really where cha cappuccino came from. Um, the color of their robes and the coffee mixed with frothy milk was very similar. So when see people seeing the coffee, it looked just like the color of the robes. Uh, thus, the name Cappuccino was born. So this is really where Cappuccino comes from. Okay, let's continue. And we just have one example here, because everybody knows what Cappuccino is anyway. When I go to a coffee shop, I usually order a Cappuccino. Maybe you prefer that one over some other types of coffee. Anyway, I um, hope you got it. I uh, hope you found it informative and interesting. Thank you for your time. I appreciate it. Bye-bye.